Hi, my name is Darren Cavill, fitness coordinator with Foundation HealthPlex. We're going to be demonstrating the VO2 test, or at least giving you a good idea of what a VO2 test looks like. Just like we had a resting test uh, on the last video uh, using this very mask, we're going to use this mask for an active test. So just like last time, we're going to be trying to measure your breathing. So you're going to wear a mask. We're going to hook you up to this machine right here, our new leaf equipment. And then we're going to have you get on a piece of equipment, either a bike, which is right here, or also a treadmill. Treadmills are the most common that we use. It's the easiest to um, use for a majority of our population. But if you do have injuries or anything that's going to pre prevent you from being able to be comfortable on a treadmill, we will use an arm cycle or even a recumbent bike. On average, this test takes just about 10 minutes. Once we get you prepped for the test, we're going to put the mask on. Once I step on the treadmill, we'll hit quick start. And we'll start off at a very low intensity just a couple miles an hour starting off. Throughout the test, we're going to be uh, monitoring your progress. Generally, what happens is we start off at a low intensity, gradually increasing that about every minute. First, we start with a slow increase in your speed, and then gradually increase the incline. About every minute, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be asking you how you feel. It's going to feel almost like uh, we're overly concerned with how you're doing. I'm going to say, how are you? Are you doing OK? What number on the intensity scale are you? On a scale of 0 to 10, how do you feel? Once we are able to continue to proceed, really, you have, you have the final say on whether or not the test stops. We aren't going to take you further than you can go, but we are going to want you to be challenged to try to get, to, um, get enough information to find out not only where you burn fat efficiently, but where your f good fitness zone would be for you to find out where your heart health is going to be improved. And then finally, find out what your VO2 max is. That's just a, a fancy way of saying how efficiently does your heart work. Those are all things that we want to accomplish with this test. And they're all things that we can do in order to pr best provide you with the, the optimum fitness program. There's a lot of confusion in fitness. I'm wondering what's the best thing for you in your workouts. One of the things that we want to do is we want to provide a way to take away that confusion. So why don't you go ahead and just set up an appointment with us today. We'll give you your own personalized workout routine.